guys, C Days here, and today I'm back with probably the single most fragile transformer in my entire collection. Or as far as fragile, just consecutive transformer in my entire collection. I don't know if the specific one is the most fragile, but this is the single most fragile on record transformer I own. So here it is. Bumblebee. This is the car mode. I got this is a universal exclusive and it's a deluxe Bumblebee. So let's get right into it. So, first thing, the head of the car just looks great. I'm sorry. That looks absolutely wonderful until you realize this thing is just waiting to explode. Like the windows, the whole entire back assembly just likes to pop off. The, the door, the car, the doors are trash. Like, they're so easy just to pop off. For some reason, he has no windows. I don't know why they added these, because I have not found a way to put them in. I didn't look up the instructions for this one or watch a review or anything. I tried to figure these universal exclusive ones out. And, yep, this whole entire car mode is imploding on me. Yeah, this thing is not a very good car mode. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like Bumblebee car modes in general. And then the back assembly looks fairly decent. This whole entire car mode is imploding. I'm so sorry, guys. It's like imploding, which is very common on Bumblebee figures. So, yeah. This car mode is legit imploding on me without even trying to get it to implode oh my gosh dude we're not even through the review yet uh this thing is not a good car mode i'm sorry i cannot tell you that this is a good car mode so let's and then it's got a stripe down it so let's transform it this is also an officially licensed figure Oh, this car mode is not very good. I'm sorry. <laughs> Everybody who likes Bumblebee Transformers, in my eyes, most of them are just pains in the living butts. This one in specific is a pain in the butt to do. Is a pain in the butt to review. I This is like my eighth attempt, and I kept repairing it and repairing it and repairing it. And it kept imploding, so... I don't care if it implodes. I'm done. <laughs> this is a fragile transformer. I that's all I can say. If you're trying to get this for your kid, that isn't somebody like me that just wanted rare transforming robots. I have to admit that this is not a very good pick. I would say if you're if you really want to get a universal exclusive because you're at Universal or something, this guy in general, I would say get the Optimus Prime. It is a lot better than this Bumblebee in my eyes. Actually, like, staying together wise. But if your kid doesn't have a Bumblebee, which is probably hard, I have technically three proper Bumblebees. And a lot more of not proper Bumblebees. In my eyes, a proper Transformer is like a mainline Transformer Studio Series or something like that. That's a proper Transformer. I, rec I could recommend this guy, but he's a really hard pickup, honestly. He he looks, he's very stubby in robot mode, and I don't know how to feel about that. Oh my gosh, dude. The door wings, everything is a pain in the butt on this figure. This is by far out of the two universal exclusives out of the two. This is the worst, by far. And it's sad, because this is a very popular character and probably gets way more sales than the Optimus Prime. He's the Kid Appeal character. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm done with this review already. So, first thing... Oh, this is the... This is the mech tech weapon. You just push it back here. And it just locks, it doesn't even lock out. So I just peg it into his arm because for some reason he can't put it in his hand. 
But it still looks pretty good on the arm. So let's do our... No, you can't. I'm recording a video. You get a swivel up the head, a ball joint. You get out at the shoulders. You get about 90 or 180. You get a finger articulation for some reason. You get ball joints. You get a swivel that goes that far. It's very pathetic, actually. And then you get some feet articulation. So there we go. Yeah, you can make this figure stand very tall, shockingly. What did I tell you? This figure is a pain in the living butt to handle. I'm about to... Oh my gosh, am I going to have to redo this video again? Oh, it's pain, pain. Oh, it's a pain. Sorry, guys. <laughs> this figure is a pain in the living. I'm so, so, This figure is a pain. He is an absolute flipping pain to deal with. Oh, gosh. This figure is an absolute pain. I, if you're going to buy any Bumblebee, if you want a really good Bumblebee... I would have to recommend the studio series. Just don't get this one. This one is more of a pain to handle than it is an enjoyment. And that is saying a lot, considering I love the studio series and most people despise it because they call it a piece of junk. But this one is a pain in the living butt to handle. I hate this figure. I don't hate it, but I wouldn't say I absolutely hate the figure, but it's a pretty cool action figure, but okay. Enough complaining. Let's get into the details. If you look at the face, it looks absolutely great. Um, it's one of the best sculpts I feel like we have for B. If you look right there, there's no... Let me zoom in. If you look on his head, there's no Autobot insignia. Where the heck did that go? Uh, and then you got his entire chest like a standard B. Is all the car mode. Let's actually pull out. You can see there's the speaker that B talks through, I'm pretty sure. Tons of great robot details. Tons of great details on this dude. It's a great figure. But don't go pick it up. Detail-wise, it's a pretty good figure. <laughs> okay, for size comparisons. I'm glad this... I love normally recording YouTube videos. But this figure was... This one was a pain in the butt to deal with i'm not gonna lie god god oh yeah then he's got a swivel right here if you're gonna if you're at universal right now oh yeah, and he's got a bicep swivel i'm missing articulation constantly today but um if you're and he's got a shoulder swivel oh my gosh dude. but if you're at universal and you're just you just went into the transformers the ride which is where optimus and bumblebee are and you want to pick up at least one transformer but you don't know which one to buy don't get bumblebee get in my eyes the superior of the two transforming robots let me get the other my only comparison for this video that i have on hand optimus prime still by far the reigning champion of universal studios Still the reigning champion by far. Bumblebee doesn't even come in comparison. Has no defense for himself. He is a fiddly mess. Only reason why I have him is because he is a Universal exclusive. Don't pick him up. Pick him up. So yeah, guys. My, I think my, a couple, like, two videos ago was this Optimus review. I'm just going to go back and say, if you want to more in-depth on this figure... These two I have not seen too many reviews on, so I had to pick, I had to do my own review on him. But if you want two figures from Universal, don't pick him up. I mean, don't pick this one up, don't pick up B. He is a really, he looks cool in the box, but he's more of a pain in the butt to deal with than he is fun. 
Unless, of course, you want B-127 or B's weapon. Then go ham because it's probably the core of the two mech tech weapons. But I don't recommend them to anybody that is... If you're a collector and just want something very fairly rare that you're not going to be able to find really in too many other places, then go ham and buy this guy because he is a one-of-a-kind figure, honestly. But these are also DTM reissues, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure that he... Or DTM. Dark of the Moon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are D-O-T-M reissues. But they're slightly... I don't know. But yeah, this is the one to pick up. This one's not. So I've been running on long enough. See you in my next video. Peace out.